Oh, hi. It's me, Del. This is another video. Enjoy. Hello. <laughs> I look so tired. Yeah, sleep hasn't really been like it lately. So this is gonna be a very interesting video. I just wanna have a chat. I've been watching a lot of Tomska videos recently. Some of the videos are just very casual and chill and aren't really like high production. And they just kind of chat and I really enjoy those videos. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself into making these videos like really entertaining and really like high production value. And you know, that's great and all. High production value is always good. But then sometimes I'm like, do I really enjoy it? when I have to like put so much work into it and then it's so time consuming and it takes weeks, even months for me to get a video out. So I thought we're gonna chill it out a little bit on the production value of these videos, just for this, just for a couple, because I just wanna have a chat. I wanna talk about what I've been doing the past few weeks and just, you know, like, see what's up. So what have I been doing? I've been doing a new film. I've been trying to get into writing that properly because I'm supposed to be filming next month but i can't seem to get into it properly i don't know what it is maybe it's because like the first film i've done outside of uni and like the pressure is different i kind of get there and i have an idea and then i just think about it for too long and i'm like i've already done that that's just reusing the same thing i did last time gotta keep it fresh gotta keep it new i just feel like a lot of pressure to keep making films after finishing uni because a lot of people i know that finish uni have zero interest in making films and just kind of pop off i want to actually like try and make films and keep up the momentum him, this thing that I love doing, but it's just like getting over that hump in the writing process is like I feel like so monotone. I feel like I need to be like but again, we're doing like a chill one today. Even though I'm slow in the writing process, everything else is going pretty quickly. Like I'm already looking at people that cast. I'm already looking at locations. I went on I wanna like I went on an I went on I went on a location scout with my friends and colleagues, Dylan and David. This is location scout, day one, triple D, Dylan, hey. David, and Del. And there's people, I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> Genius. Trees. You could do shots of the roots. You could do shots of the roots, bro. Just show the trauma uh, yeah. It runs deep. Yeah, literally. And family, you know, family tree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just kind of looked around at some ideas for the film but like, again i have nothing in mind so it's difficult to like actually think about the production side of my brain is like we have to keep going and then the writing is like you know what i'm head off i'll see ya i'm reading a lot actually i love the tv show normal people and i bought the book and the first book written by the same author of that book called conversation with friends which they're also making a tv show out of and i'm very excited i started reading that book and it's just frustrating because i'm like i can kind of relate to stuff because i'm like in my 20s and like this is like my prime time of like real world shit but like at the same time i'm just like am i that annoying <laughs> no offense but like the characters in that book like get on my nerves like i'm just like what are you doing Stop making bad decisions. And I think, am I doing that? Am I making bad decisions? What's going on? And I recently just bought the book Limitless by Alan Glynn because I watched a very interesting video essay by Jess Wright about how the Limitless series talks about like capitalism and how the movie is a direct contradiction to that. I've only seen the film, I haven't read the book. So I'm going to try and get into the series now. I'm doing a very interesting collaboration with my friend Victoria, who is also my art director for my next film. And I'm filming that tomorrow actually, so I'm pretty excited. I have all of the outfits, I have everything planned out. I've been on a film shoot for some friends that are doing their final project at uni and it's kind of like a horror psychological thriller type thing. So yeah, I was just helping out a script supervisor. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god that's so cute. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That's so cute, that's so many. I hung out with my best friend Dylan. Dylan, I need to vlog, come back. Doing, okay. doing the whole film thing i know what i'm so monotone i'm so sorry this is not going to be interesting i recently watched the world's end for the first time i know i've seen the other two Shaun of the dead and hot fuzz and it was all right i'm not a huge huge fan of edgar wright like i'm not like not a fan i'm just kind of like cool he's a director respect i totally get it but i just don't emotionally connect to his work but out of the entire like cornetto trilogy i probably like the world's end the least the shock factor of it was a little like 
and then the rest of it, I was just kind of like, all right, I get it. I've recently been re-watching the Harry Potter franchise, and I just love that franchise so much. It is my favorite, like, it's my favorite franchise. Like, it's just so good. And I know that's so cliche because everyone's like, I love Harry Potter. I'm a fucking, like, Gryffindor. I'm a Ravenclaw. Throwing that out there, I'm a Ravenclaw. I just love everything about it. I love how it's basically like a murder mystery. I love all the emotional themes that are brought throughout all the films. I love that literally every film is better than the last in terms of, like, production, writing, performance, direction. Like, that means they're all good because it just keeps getting better as the series goes on. My favorite Harry Potter film is probably Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And and I just love it so much. It's just that perfect like calm before the storm type film. Like it's right before part one. And it's right after Order of the Phoenix. So it just, it just, it gives you time to let these characters like enjoy their year at Hogwarts like while it lasts. You're also dealing with like all these themes of like betrayal with Slughorn and mystery behind the Half-Blood Prince that is pretty much a subplot. It's a subplot compared to like the rest of the story. It's so importantly weaved through it. The music... The music is beautiful. Probably my favorite soundtrack in the entire series is the one by Nicholas Hooper. I wanna say Nicholas Hooper soundtrack. It's the only one I've ever bought. Like John Williams is great. We stand John Williams, you know, iconic, like Hedwig's theme, like do, 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 do. like we, we love it. There's something about how detached Nicholas Hooper's score is and how sorrowful and harrowing it is. But there's something about how Half-Blood Prince opens with like this sweeping piece of score that just sets up the tone for the rest of the story and it breaks my heart. I love it so much. And then it's re reprised later in the film at the end with spoiler alert if you haven't seen the harry potter films when dumbledore dies and they play the beautiful dumbledore's farewell i think it's called and they're all putting their wands up to the sky and it's it's just it's a gorgeous film and my i think my favorite scene in it is when is when slughorn and harry and hagrid are in hagrid's huts and harry's been sent by dumbledore to try and retrieve some information from slughorn from the from the memory of when he essentially aided voldemort into learning more about how horcruxes work whenever that scene comes i feel the amount of shame and embarrassment that slughorn feels about how he contributed to the deaths of so many people because of a mistake he made that he he didn't know he was making and then when harry says you know you need to you need to help me understand like otherwise my mother's death is for nothing otherwise you disgrace her he's preying on how shameful he feels and not in a bad way that's just he doesn't understand too much but he knows enough that if he if he keeps sort of hitting that wound a bit more slughorn's gonna give the information which he does we love we love a character arc we love it that is why these six what were we talking about <laughs> these six harry potter film is my favorite it's i just love it so much i've been listening to a lot of music lately a lot of music because i just joined spotify uh, up until then i just used itunes because I, I had a weird thing where i was like i need to own my music in case something happens do it but then every time i move phones or a laptop i always have to drag everything over and it's just like a fucking headache so i was like you know what i'm gonna use spotify that and also a bunch of my friends have playlists that I cannot be a part of because I use iTunes so I've been basically trying to convert all my songs over to Spotify and make playlists and everything which I love I love making playlists like no one listens to them <laughs> no one cares what songs I'm listening to but there's something about like me making my own playlist where I'm like this is what I listen to like this month and this is what gives me these vibes and stuff and like you know I just like it. I like my playlists. I've been listening to a lot of sad songs. <laughs> Mainly been listening to a lot of this artist named PT. He's just got this really great vibe of like coming of age, but I'm also 30 and regretting my life decisions. Like there, there's there's like this vibe about him that I just love. And he has a beautiful song called Don't Tell the Boys, which is a song that I found him through. It's just about like two guys that love each other so much, like platonically, and like are too afraid to tell their friends about it because they're scared of being like, oh, you gay, you gay bro. And it's just basically about like platonic male love. And I love that so much. It's a great song and I, I got, a couple of weeks ago, I, out of the blue, emailed PD's email that was on his Instagram. And I was like, he's never gonna reply. I'm just gonna send him a quick email being like, I love your music, bro. Like, like thank you for making music, you're great. And he replied, <laughs> which I'm very embarrassed about because my email, <laughs> I'm not gonna show it, but it was just a little like, it was a little much. I didn't think he'd actually reply. Um, but he replied with this. So. 
It's pretty cool. Yeah, so PT I've been listening to. I've been listening to a lot of Beth McCarthy because uh, she did a cover of Be Around by, don't remember the original artist, but she did a, a cover of it that was so beautiful. I've been listening to that so much. She just released a song called She Gets the Flowers, which I fucking love. I love her so much. Her voice is amazing. Her lyrics, amazing. Iconic, beautiful. My very public per like music personality is very like sort of mainstream pop, which is like so pop music is great. Let people like things, whatever. Because people think I like people like Taylor Swift or Selena Gomez. Uh, people think that that's only what I like. Not true. <laughs> I hate to be that person, but I kind of like everything. It really does like depend on the actual song itself. It doesn't really depend much on genre, except for like hardcore metal. Like my ex-boyfriend loves metal. Like to this day, loves it loves it loves it loves it and i liked some of it i can get on, i can get on board with some of it sometimes i'm just like it's just roaring like whatever to each their own i just personally i just can't i don't know what it is i just can't do it i kind of like every type of music that being said i've been listening to a lot of toby i'm gonna butcher i this is such a white thing to say but i'm going to butcher toby and we we and we get in we we Ingwigwi, Toby Ingwigwi. I'm blessed to a lot of that, particularly his song Father Figure. Like, he sings it with a couple other guys, and then when he comes in on his verse, I'm like, wait, I need to play it. I know I'm gonna get copyright, but like. That was probably the widest thing I've ever done, but will I keep this in? Probably yes. Oh, I bought dresses. <laughs> I got this dress. It literally looks like a tablecloth, but like a milking cows. You know what I mean? It's like it's like that kind of vibe. But I love it so much. I'm just trying to find the right place to wear it, but I don't know where to wear it because it's like a lot. It's like like my aesthetic. This is, okay, so right now I'm wearing a rugby jersey, but like usually my aesthetic is like like cottage woman, like peasant, like that. That's like my that's like my chosen aesthetic. I don't know how to conclude this. I've, already, I've been filming for like 25 minutes. I've just been feeling like a bit odd and out of place after since uni ended. I just need to kind of take a deep breath, not take myself too seriously, get the shit done, get the work done. It's all good, really. Like I'm having all right time. I just needed I just needed to kind of keep being creative and not to put too much pressure on myself, which is what I've been doing, which is why this video was good because it's just me having a chat and just kind of being myself. Like, what are you guys doing? leave in the comments and I will read and respond because I want to know what you're up to. I care. I'm not, I know I sound sarcastic, but I'm genuine, being very genuine right now. I appreciate support from everyone all the time. But in the meantime, follow me on my Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Feel free to subscribe or like this video. And again, comment because I want to know what's going on in your lives too. Content is coming. Content is coming. I know it's taking a while, but some annoying like that but it's coming. Really appreciate you watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this little chat. Kind of just about nothing, about what's going on in my life. What's going on in your life? Um, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, hello. Thank you for watching my video. Please go check out my other videos and my other videos.